All right, big game tonight. Um, do you put any more emphasis on this game going into the All-Star break, the fact that they're right behind you, the playoff race and all that stuff, or you just go, hey, it's just another game? Uh, it's just business as usual for us. Um, obviously, their guys have been playing really good basketball, just trying to keep them focused, you know, not checking out too early. You know, they've got their vacations, plans, and, you know, some guys got, you know, earned opportunities to go to the Rising Stars game, which is super exciting. So there's all kinds of plans ahead over the next week or so, but just keep focusing on the task at hand. So how can we get better knowing that we're going to the break, you know, try to create some momentum, you know, for the last half of the season? You know they got to be looking at the standings, though. I mean, do you put that up in the board now, or is that uh, – you're going to wait until later in the season. Uh, we've had the standings up there, you know, um, for a good portion of the season. You know, I, I know the guys are probably definitely talking about it. You know, I know you guys are talking about it for sure, but we just try to keep our focus on, you know, doing what we got to do every single day. You know, uh, for us, if we carry the mentality where no one game is more important than the other, you know, that's discrediting the other games, you know. So if we can treat every game the same with the, the, the right urgency, the right focus, go out and play with the same activity and togetherness, um, you know, take advantage of every opportunity to play, you know, especially with this young group. We still got a lot to learn. Uh, if we focus on that, the rest will take care of itself. Talking about the younger, it seems like uh, games like like this will help this group, whether it's now or in the future, playing in games where, the, whether it's real or not, the stakes are ratcheted up. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, this uh, the team that's coming in. Obviously, you know, Lillard's having an, a historic run, um, but their entire team just gelling. So many guys contributing on top of what Lillard's doing. I mean, they've um, had some big time wins, big time games. Um, you know, we know it's going to be high level basketball today. You know, our game plan's got to be on point. Um, you know, and then offensively, we, we've got to continue to get better. You know, we've been kind of hit a little rut recently. Um, but any opportunity that we get to go out there like we did the other night coming back, you know, in Washington or, you know, getting kind of handled pretty nicely against the Sixers, like whatever it is, whether it's a win or a loss, there's something we can always learn and take take away. It's not always just losing from losses. It's, it's uh, excuse me, winning from uh, learning from losses. You can learn from the wins as well. So um, hopefully we get a W tonight, you know, all the work these guys are putting in. Uh, but we can definitely learn from this one and carry it forward after the All-Star break. Can we expect to see Gorgie or Jordan um, play tonight? Yeah, I'm still figuring out the rotations. Uh, my anticipation is, you know, maybe one of those guys might get some opportunity tonight. But obviously, once we get back from All-Star break, they continue to get some more practice time with us. And, um, you know, we know uh, whenever they get their opportunity, you know, they're going to be able to help us. Is it easy or difficult because you have such a, a deep rotation already to kind of mix in those guys figuring out those rotations now? Yeah, I mean, I think we've uh, gone to a good spot with our rotations. Um, you know, we, we've been relying on our depth a lot. You know, I think that's what's helped us, you know, over the course of January and this early part in February. Um, different guys stepping up every single night. So when you bring in, you know, new guys into the fold, you know, it's one, let's just develop chemistry off the floor. You know, it's definitely going to take some time, you know, to develop that chemistry on the floor. But the fact that we've got really good chemistry now, you know, we're playing well, um, you know, regardless of the record, we're just going out there and giving a great effort. And we're, we're doing a lot of good things on both ends of the floor. You know, you slowly integrate people that, you know, are going to help and just continue to make that a seamless transition so you're not missing a beat. And at the end of the day, you hope that it's going to amplify, you know, as the guys that have been here all over the course of the season, they continue to grow and that just amplifies is what we're able to do and you get the new guys into the fold as well and then they continue to amplify you. Are you going to put your hands over your eyes when Dame takes one of those patented 40 footers? <laughs> no, uh, he's been doing it all season. He's been doing it for a number of years. You know, he's an unbelievable player. He's continuing to grow. It's not just the three point line. It's him getting downhill and finishing at an elite level, getting to the free throw line more, splitting defenders. He's a unique individual, uh, and he's the ultimate teammate, the ultimate competitor. Uh, it's going to be exciting, so I definitely don't want to cover my eyes because I know we're going to see some great stuff out there, but hopefully it's also our guys trying to shut him down as much as possible. A little different, but have you, with the challenge of this year, have you had any examples where a player asks you to challenge something and you're kind of not so sure whether you should or not, but have to balance whether you listen to the player? Or yeah, I mean, I've had a couple of those, um, you know, probably just a small handful where, you know, there was two that I went for, and then I think, you know, two or three where I said no, you know, just – and it's been a great, you know, it's a new tool this year and having to educate not just myself but the team on, you know, the time and situation. I, I'm kind of more leaning towards you save it to the fourth quarter a little bit more and uh, where there's more impactful plays that can kind of swing the game. Um, but it's been great dialogue. At the end of the day, I always want to trust what our players are feeling, regardless if it's a challenge or it's a coverage adjustment or a play call or whatnot. Um, but it's striking that right balance between, you know, being on the same page, you know, because you just never know what's going to pop up. Was it hard to say no, though, if a guy's going, you know, playing your guys saying, hey, Coach, I didn't foul, I didn't foul? And <laughs> no, I mean, obviously we might have a look at each other and just kind of, you know, yeah, that's going to be a tough one. Just play through, get to the next play, and then, you know, I, I might pull them to the side in the game or after the game and tell them, you know, why I ultimately decided not to. And they obviously appreciate that and, you know, just help us prepare for the next, you know, random opportunity that might pop up. Obviously, Dame Lillard is the star, but what 
McCollum has killed the Grizzlies the past mm -hmm. few years. Obviously, a different regime. What defensive challenges does that total backcourt bring, and will it change anything in terms of your, I don't know, I don't know if principles is the right word, just in terms of your usual strategy, having two guards like that? Yeah, I mean, obviously one of the best uh, backcourts in the league, um, and they've been doing it for so many years. I think they play so well off of each other. Obviously, when they bounce the rotations, you know, one of those guys is then, you know, kind of takes over, but um, they're all running the same sets. Um, so hopefully for us from a game plan matchup standpoint, you know, it's pretty consistent for us how we just got to go out and execute and we don't have to drastically change. Uh, but both guys that are super unique and, you know, obviously Lillard's, you know, playing unbelievable right now, but McCollum's been playing pretty good too. And um, we know McCollum can go off and have a big night. So being able to have had battles as an assistant coach against these guys, seeing them both hand in hand, um, you know, play at an elite level, it's going to be exciting. So uh, it presents challenges, but, you know, hopefully it's, a simple challenge where we just go out and just execute the same game plan as much as possible. And if we need to adjust, we'll adjust.